focus on the breath. And if you're going to be thinking about anything, think about the breath. All too often our thoughts spin around and really don't go anywhere. And John Lee's image is of a windmill that just stays in place. It spins, 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 but doesn't go anywhere. Whereas if you spin around the breath, then it turns from a wheel of samsara into a wheel of dharma. In other words, you've got virtue, concentration, and discernment. You spin around in those things. And that's like the, the spinning of a propeller on an airplane. It pulls the airplane up, takes you to a better place. So even though there is some thinking involved, it's thinking that takes you somewhere new. As the Buddha said, we're trying to reach the as-yet-unreached, attain the as-yet-unattained. And that requires that we do some things we haven't done before, that we be persistent in our pursuit of virtue, concentration, and discernment. So stick with it. Even though there's some activity, there's a lot of pain sometimes in the practice. It's not always. Sometimes it's mental pain, sometimes it's physical pain. But it's pain that goes someplace. Most of the pain in the world goes nowhere at all, just sort of sits there and is oppressive. And all too often people, once they're in pain like that, they just go scrambling around. As the Buddha said, when there's pain, we, we get bewildered and then we start searching for somebody who might help us out of the pain. And because of our bewilderment, all too often we choose the wrong people to help or to look for help from. That's the kind of pain that goes nowhere. We'll try to make this the pain that goes someplace, the pain of sitting in the meditation, the pain of realizing there's more to be done. But those pains pull you in the right direction. They motivate you to act in ways that really are for your benefit, in ways that will take you out of the situation where you are now, at least the situation in the mind, and take you to a new place. So it keeps spinning around the breath this way. When everything gets calm, everything gets worked through in the body, okay, then you can settle down and rest. And the rest here is not the kind of rest that just sits there. Again, it's a rest that goes someplace. After all, right concentration is part of the path that takes you someplace that you haven't been before. So give it a try. Don't say, well, I feel okay today. I'll just let off on my efforts. It's okay is not good enough. If the Buddha were just after okay, he wouldn't have taught the teachings he did, or lived the life he did. We're looking for more than okay. And he's offering us a path that will take us there. As he said, there are some pains that come from skillful practice, but at least they're better than the pains that come from being unskillful, because those are double pain. These are the pains that actually are part of the path, take you someplace the place we want to go.